toxic people, toxic messages, and how to manage them for our relational and spiritual health. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Brayman. How do we manage the toxic elements in our life, whether they're messages, whether they're people? We just have this sense that they are toxic, like we think of toxic chemicals. How do we manage them well for our relational health and our spiritual health? Now, before we get into this and how to use lifestyle as medicine for our whole person health, it's important to understand a little bit how we work and how we're put together. So the whole person neuron model helps us understand that the core of who we are, that spiritual aspect of our nature, is a matter of being. It's a matter of who we are. And a key function of that being or who we are is our intentions, okay? Our intention or intentions, especially towards other people. And in our relationships, both horizontally with other people and in our relationships to a higher power, okay? That's where it gets into the, what we think of as a spiritual aspect, though our spiritual nature is simply the who we are in whatever dimension we're working in. Now, it's also important to understand that we are designed to connect. That is what we exist for. We get our meaning, our purpose, our, our juice, if you will, from positive relationships and connections. And those are essentially a function of positive intentions being expressed back and forth in different ways, words, actions, and so forth, versus negative intentions and their negative actions or messages. It's also important to understand that who we are at our core and those intentions change how we think, how we feel, and therefore how we act or express ourselves or express those core intentions. So the spiritual is expressing itself through the physical. Okay, you got that? Now, what is the most damaging, the most toxic kind of messages or people? Well, they have to do with intentions. And where we get into lots and lots of the worst trouble and what we would sometimes call evil is where one person or who is telling us that other who's have evil intentions toward us, bad intentions, negative intentions, okay, may not be true. And especially when it's not true is when it is so damaging. So when we are being informed and it's shaping who we are and how we perceive other people close to us, far from us, society, other groups, higher powers, in a negative light, like they have negative intentions toward us, that is about the most damaging and evil thing that can happen. The most toxic kind of messages or toxic kinds of people putting out those messages. So, examples, day-to-day -day life. Oh, well, Susie thinks your sweater is ugly today. Well, does Susie really think that? Or does Susie think I'm really stupid or Susie doesn't like me? Maybe, maybe not. But that kind of messaging and changing that perspective in our relationship with the other who's is really, really impactful. On the political level, I'm hearing a lot from politicians these days vilifying other people and other groups. This other group of people has these evil intentions toward you. That is highly, highly toxic. It is about the most destructive thing you can do to a relationship on personal levels or on societal levels. Those are the kinds of messages and people we need to recognize and then make choices about how we're going to deal with that. What will we do with those people? What will we do with those messages? So when we're hearing these messages, we have a choice. Okay, here's the beauty. Here's where the freedom comes in. We have choice. We don't have to just take those in. Number one, we need to recognize them. And that's what this video is about. Recognize them. Okay, when someone is telling you evil intentions from other people towards you, whoa, time out, stop. You have a decision to make. What are you going to do with that? So whether it's a politician or a person, you get to process that. And I'm going to recommend to you, here's your prescription, make a choice about rejecting that messaging. Don't be stupid. Pay attention. Don't let people take advantage of you. But don't just take in that kind of messaging. What the science shows and what you find in relationships is that assuming the best is a huge, huge thing that's the basis of relationships. Don't let anyone change your perspective on life 
on whole other groups of people and tell you lies that are not true. Now this gets into the spiritual domain, not just in terms of a vertical relationship or connection, but you go back to some of the stories of original sin. Adam and Eve, the Garden of Eden, the snake in the tree. When the snake comes to Eve, what is the temptation? Well, yeah, it's the fruit in the tree or whatever, but underlying that and the real problem is, oh, well, you know what? Your creator really has not really the best intentions toward you. Therefore, you should do thus and such. So you see, even in these paradigms in the spiritual realm, this conveyance of evil intentions of someone else toward you is hugely, hugely destructive to us at our core. Okay, this is a who level issue. Now it's important to understand that what we do with these messages about other who's in relation to our who, who we are, starts to shape who we are as people. It's not just a matter of helping a relationship or not helping it. It changes who we are, what we do with these messages, both positive and negative. So taking the active and intentional approach of they're giving me a negative message, I am going to choose to reject that message to think the best of this other group that may see things differently than me. But I think they have good intentions. That is a very positive thing and that is shaping who you are as a person and will therefore change your intentions towards these other people that see things differently than you. But they're still great people. Maybe they're your neighbor. Maybe they're the person across the street that you can otherwise have a fantastic relationship with. You can take care of them, they can take care of you. So there's your life lesson for today, managing your relational and spiritual health by understanding the role, the place of intentions and the messages and people in your life. Reject the toxicity, accept and choose, choose to assume the best about other people. It will make a world of difference, not only for your relationships, but even for your physical health. I'm Dr. Mark Brayman, empowering you to live healthy, happy, whole.